Hello, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a blueprint back image for creating your models. So first we're going to go to uh, click on the M on the, on the keyboard so the material editor is open and then we click on this button on by the diffuse and select bitmap and then you scroll to the folder where you have your blueprints uh, made the blueprints should be uh, edited in Photoshop just to make the scale for the for the sides the same which you can see here 980 by 655 for front and back and for the side 1061 to 654 so we are going to import the front side go up and name it front so you know so you know uh, it is front. We're going to go select back. And we are going to do the same for the side view. So, so you can set this to 70 so the illumination self illumination of this uh, models is higher so now we're going to go to front view front view and create a plane create a plane with length segments 1 and 1 you can select set this by clicking on this this cursors or type one in or just right click on these cursors and the value is set to one. Now we are going to uh, set the size. Now we must now. Uh, What the what the size of this uh, map is? So we can check this by clicking on the info, and we can see nine eighty by six five five. Now when you set the size of this uh, plane, it is recommended to set it to... It depends if you had centimeters, meters or millimeters, but I always do... If I have 980, I just type in 98 and forget the rest 65.5 so now we have and we select show standard map in viewport and assign material to selection so we can see in this that this is not okay but we are going to fix it we have to change these settings. That's it. So now we have the front and we can just select it and move it holding the shift to make a duplicate and make a copy of it. Right. Name it back and 
we assign another the back side oops the back side to this one so if we you can see we can't see it in the front in the front view because we have only wireframes uh, showing if you click the F3 on the keyboard then you have everything shown so in the side view the left view we're going to do the same just create a plane and we are going to set it to the to the values that are 206.1 to 65.4 point to 206.1 and we assign this to the side Where are you? Oh, here you are. So, we're going to set it to zero. I'm just selecting the plane and right clicking on the select and move, and then right clicking on these values. So, they're all set to the zero. And now when we have this mess created, now we just move this to the back and we can align it by clicking Alt A and selecting the side view, the side the side plane and on the X axis, we're going to set it to minimum, no maximum and minimum. Apply, and on the Y axis, we're going to do the same, and here we have our backside line for the front we're going to use same but in oops here we go so in basically this is pretty much it to set up a this kind of background images um, but now I'm going to show you how you can make it uh, invisible when you look at the back side of this uh, images so we select it right click on it and go to object properties and we set back face cool and show frozen gray we are going to select that and we're going to freeze it so now when we are looking from this side we cannot see this uh, image we are, we are looking from this side we are seeing the image now the problem is because we made a mistake uh, we have to align the back image on the front and then the front image on the back so when we are looking at it, we can see it. So we now I'm going to Alt A, click, I'm going to move it a little bit. Then we're going to select the front and we're going to move it to the back. Okay, I'm using the same technique as before, just to make it. Just to put it in the right direction. So now this backside is not visible when we want to look at the front of this uh, 
plane. Now I can already see that this is flipped the wrong side because this is the darker part and the normals are facing outwards so I'm going to flip it by going to select and rotate and going to angle snap it and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees then going to select it again and object properties right click and object properties we're going to deselect renderable, renderable because we don't want to be seen in the render we're going to going to do for this same there for this selection this selection and for this one I'm right clicking on it and freezing it back face cooling it and deselecting shock frozen in gray so this is pretty much it when we are creating we can see the back side front back it is the opposite as it, is, as it says because we have this side view pointing in the wrong direction but we get the picture how this is made so this is pretty much it now you can create start creating your own Bentley Continental GT Hope you learned something new, enjoyed it, and till next time. Bye.